In 2004, Bennett Reamer addressed a meeting of the philosophy shrig of MENC. The focus of the meeting was to debate, discuss how philosophy could be part of the K-12 curriculum. And essentially what Bennett Reamer suggested was that the current vision and best practices for music education conceived over 60 years before are becoming increasingly irrelevant. One of the things that Reamer noted is that we have this big three plus one in music education, which he calls the quaternity. Reamer writes, the present scope and vision of music education under which we have been straight-jacketed for well over half a century has kept music education unacceptably artificial. Separated from the realities of musical life as it actually exists in our culture and in those around the world. And the thing I would like to stress here is his idea of unacceptably artificial. At this time in education, authenticity, authentic assessment, authentic experiences is one of the things that we strive for when providing experiences for children or to children. And the question that Reamer raises is how authentic are the experiences children get in music education? This is a philosophical question, and it forces us to take ownership of where our profession is at the moment. Do musicians, music educators, teaching artists, however you want to phrase it, suffer from myopia musica? Myopia, the root of the word, is short-sightedness, nearsightedness, literally closing the eyes to shut in our quest for musical excellence and perfection, are we shutting our eyes? It certainly helps us to focus on one thing. If we take in a larger view, a larger view that Reamer asks us to take in, then we are no longer fixated on the smaller thing. Question. Might our success at mounting technically flawless performances coupled with our parents' zeal for entertaining musical spectacles, be hampering or hobbling a new vision for music education. We have done one thing so well for so long, that's what parents come to expect. The other thing that we need to realize is clearly the focus of any performance is on the conductor, the director, or the adult. Certainly, we acknowledge children and adolescents for their hard work. And at the end of the day, the person who takes the largest bow is going to be the adult. The adult has the most to gain and the most to lose when we think about musical careers. Reamer asks us to question our focus. Where are we focused? Philosophically, where are we focused? Generally speaking, the focus of music education is music. Music is something that we do. We perform. There is technique. There are players. There are singers. There is a conductor. The focus is on the music making, the musical performance. Might the focus need to be shifted from the players and the conductors and the singers to something else? Do we suffer from musical macular degeneration? We are losing sight, both figuratively and literally, of our place and purpose in our neighborhoods and communities. Question, is the sum total of our music programs to produce one performance after another for family and friends? Is our purpose and place in our communities to entertain and enthrall? Does the business of music education mounting fine performances cause an artificial musical macular degeneration, losing sight of the reason we have music? Is it music for music's sake? Is it art for art's sake? Or is it music for the sake of the community? And this is becoming the focus of many music education philosophers, outwardly looking into the community 
to establish a place or to reconnect with that community. Reamer asked us to question what was handed to us as far as our vision of music education. The vision of music education that I have was given to me by my predecessor, and my predecessor got it from her predecessor, and her predecessor got it, and so on and so on. We are one more cog in an ever-retooled wheel. That's not thinking philosophically about what we do.